It's Bob and Peeps, T-Money up in the house here to do a review for this Wednesday. Sorry that it's coming to you so late, um, but better late than never, right? So um, the review I chose to do this week is kind of a little bit different from the norm. Uh, I had shot Derek a message and asked him if he thought it would be cool if I did a, a TV sh show episode rather than a movie. Um, just because I rewatched this episode recently and I really like it. Um, and so I was inspired to, um, or want to do a review on it, because I've always loved it. And, um, yeah, so that episode, um, and the review I'm going to do for tonight on Body Bags is no other than Tales from the Crypt Season 2's Episode 5, uh, th called Three's a Crowd. Um, now this whole season, um, is my favorite, definitely Season 2. There are seven seasons of Tales from the Crypt, as you may well know, um, but I think, and they're all great, most of them, with the exception of six and seven, in my opinion, season two's the best, the best of the best. Every episode on this is nearly good, gold, rather, but, um, so, my favorite episode is definitely, uh, there's two on here, uh, three, really. The first one, Dead Weight, I believe it's called Dead Weight, I'm not even gonna go there, I can't open it, um, Television Terror, and the one I'm going to talk about tonight, which is called Three's a Crowd. Uh, Three's a Crowd aired originally, I think, in 1990 on my mom's birthday, May 1st. Um, and it's the fifth episode from season two. So uh, let me just grab my note sheet out here. So this episode is amazing. It's basically like a character study of a guy. Well, it's basically like his descent into insanity and... Um, it's kind of like Killing Spree, without wanting to spoil too much, the uh, low-budget shot on horror film, in the sense that it's a basically a, a, a study of a man who is extremely jealous. Uh, clearly, he's got issues um, of his own, secure, uh, um, self-esteem, whatever it may be. But he thinks that his wife's cheating on him. And um, basically, the synopsis of this episode is a man and a woman are celebrating their anniversary. They go away to, like, I think they rent, like, a log, log cabin or something like that, a summer home type thing. Um, and they... So they get away, and um, they want to celebrate their anniversary. However, a man shows up who's an old-time friend. Um, well, first, first let, me, let me go over a few things. So, so this is episode five, uh, season two, Tales from the Crypt, Three's a Crowd. It was directed by uh, David Burton Morris, and I actually looked him up, and he's not really done. He did a movie, Purple Haze, from 1982, which I'm not familiar with. The name is mighty familiar, but I don't think I've seen that movie. And then one other one, which I forget. But basically, I'm not familiar with any of his work. He doesn't have much, but, um, but David Burton Morris is the director. Um, it stars Gavin O'Herlihy, which is um, kind of ironic because I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with... Uh, Dan O'Herlihy, who is in, um, um, most notably, I know him from Halloween 3, he plays the, the main, uh, town, I forget the guy's name, um, but the main villain, um, Mr. Whoever in, uh, Halloween 3, so this is his younger son, Gavin, who is actually the star of this episode, um, and he also, Gavin also stars in Willow from 1988, and he's also in, interesting enough, um, you can check him out in The Descent Part 2. I think he has a, a fairly recent role in that film, um, if you want to see anything newer, because this was obviously not from 1990, and he, I don't think his body of work, he's done a lot, but uh, in the horror genre, not so much, I don't think, so check out, um, check him out in The Descent Part 2. Uh, I know I'm going to go back and see, just to see his age, and he was also in Superman 3. Um, and the other stars of this episode are Ruth DeSosa, who plays wife, and Paul Lieber. So there's only three characters, really, in this episode. Um, three central characters. Gavin and his wife, played by Ruth. I forget, I forget their names in the show, but it's not really important. Um, they go away on an anniversary trip. I forget how Paul, um, the third wheel guy, the longtime friend of the wife, old time friend of the wife, I should say, gets involved. I think but it's kind of, I think, part of the whole twist as well. So he shows up, and Gavin, uh, the husband, just goes extremely crazy, and he 
becomes more and more guaranteed that his wife is having an affair with this man, and it's just a lot of, like, um, confrontation between the two, um, you know, him accu accusing her of things, she denying, and, uh, it's, it's hard to explain, but just watching the descent of this man and his insecurities and how it leads to the climax of this episode, which is beautiful. It's, it is so good. I don't even know how to say this without spoiling it, but the last scene in this episode is, is the climax, essentially, and it is well, well worth it. Um, let's just say that the reason why they're on this trip is because the wife wants to reveal some information to the husband that he has no idea about, and that's kind of the whole, her whole reason for this surprise trip. Um, that she's planning, really, that he thinks they're just going on for an anniversary. But will we ever get to see that because he, <laughs> because of his obsession with um, the fact that he thinks that she's cheating on him, um, could it ruin everything? Could it, could it drive him into such jealousy and such rage and such madness that he will kill his wife? <laughs> I don't know how to say it, guys, but they go away. And he can't, I feel like I'm missing things, like parts, but you guys got to check this episode out. Trust me on this one. It's really, really, really good. Um, it's only a half hour long, like I said. Um, and and I, like I said, man, the last scene is just, it makes it all worthwhile. It's like, I don't really know how to go about it. I'm not good. I'm so early in my reviews because I don't do reviews that often that I don't really know how to go about wanting to give things away, but I feel like I, I shouldn't because it'll ruin everything, and, like, this, this, this twist, um, is, is everything. So you just gotta see it. Three's a Crowd, Tales from the Crypt, from 1990. Um, you can get this season on DVD now for, like, 12 bucks, I think on Amazon, FYE, whatever. It's going for dirt cheap. And like I said, uh, season two, Tales from the Crypt, is by far my favorite. I think every episode's great. It's got um, episodes with Arnold Schwarzenegger, The Switch, which is an amazing episode. Like I said, Television Terror is probably my favorite, my second favorite episode under Three's a Crowd. Um, it's about like a group of uh, people, television hosts that are doing like this, um, this live broadcast the first for the first time ever of a tour of a haunted, supposed haunted house. And so the ca the host and the cameraman go into the house and they're doing. Um, kind of like a live document of this supposedly spooky house for a late night showing on TV that's going to be on local TV, and then it turns out that uh, the house may actually be haunted, and the cast may get brutally murdered without giving away too much. But no, again, but yeah. So just to say that, I mean, because I, I don't really know what else to say about uh, Three's a Crowd other than the 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 plot twist is amazing, and it's basically just a char char character study about a man who's jealous and. Um, his insecurities lead him to a dev devastating climax, possibly, um, with the result ending in um, maybe a catastrophe, we'll say. Um, again, stumbling over words to get to the point of what I'm really trying to say here. But, um, and also, television terror for, because I had the time, um, we're only at 8.39 now. So, yeah, television terror and Three's a Crowd are two episodes on this season in particular that I really recommend. So if you haven't seen them, check them out for sure. Uh, next week I will do a feature-length um, review, I promise. Uh, I just was, you know, wanting to share this with you guys because it's worth it. If, if you haven't seen these episodes, check them out. You'll fucking love them, I promise. And if you don't, then something's wrong with you, as Parker, Mr. Parker would say. You're wrong. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's it for this um, review Wednesday. Again, sorry it's coming at you so late, but um, I hope everybody has a good week, and we will see you next Wednesday, alright? Peace. Check it out. Three's a crowd. Tales from the Crypt Season 2.